we are still with the uh, Obasogi of Benin Kingdom, uh, a high chief of the Oba of Benin Palace, uh, in this special interview for Africa World TV. Uh, sir, the Obasogi, uh, we thank you for uh, welcoming us to your office. Another question uh, I want to bring to you from Africa World TV is, the pilots seem to have uh, upped their processes to conform with the modern times. How important is this palace in, in today's Nigeria? Firstly, I must throw some in, in, uh, introduction to what brought about the palace and who stays in the palace and who owns the palace. The world kingdom, this place never started as a kingdom. As being say, who? Yeah. These are king in there. No. In actual fact, there is a strong belief that the same Oba you are talking about, he has all the spiritual power here on earth, and he has it beyond in the spirit world. All he did was to stabilize what he has asked to do by his ancestors. Like I said, he represents. God on earth. He tried administratively to stabilize, to see that um, he balanced up all the interest group. He checked bit their obligations and per perhaps their will of life. That is why within the kingdom we are well structured. The level and degree of our structured uh, structuredness is what gives us the recognition across the whole world. This is the only place, the only kingdom, you can see that they still follow tenaciously, hold on to their traditional, traditional rights. There is no time we feel that, yes, we have to change. There could be a minor modification, not a total change. And that thing we say that has changed is what has been constant. It's not changed. The Oba has his own court. He looked into cases people did deliberately and he put them right or perhaps find them by will of some of our materials. He put them right and it does not because of modern will of life, order execution anymore. But what he has done is what kept the cultural and tradition of Bene people to what you are seeing today. He has a way, he provides some, um, some method where you have to be built, a reformatory sector, session, that you have to be taught what to do. And that is why today the chiefs of the Oba, you don't even need to talk to them or they talk to you. They can speak with their body movement. And you will not understand. And that is how they listen to the Oba, who speaks in parable. Monoba does not just talk to you and you start writing that he's talking. He talks in parable. And may God guide you not to go and write what you don't know. <laughs> Thank so you very much. So, very yeah. the Obal of Benin is not necessarily a king. He's a divine king. He has what it takes to tell whoever concerned what he wants. If we were still in the monarchical world, I think he stands among equal to tell you what he wants. And that was exactly what happened. The issue of the executions of the British people, the British invasion to Benin, was not ordered by the Oba. Rwanda, they came in on a suicide mission. If they had good intention, all the rare things we have in here, they wouldn't have taken them away. That was not the Oba. They were in the palace of the Oba. I can say they came to rob. It's a different thing when you say things happen or they destroy things on, on there and left them on the ground. Then they cast them away. That is what you have now across the whole world in private museum and commercial world. So I feel if you want to look for patient people, people who persevere, look for the village. But don't dare them to the extreme. That was what happened. Thank you very much.